What's up, interwebs? It's Tuesday, it's time for your Tuesday market update. I'm feeling good today. It's the last week of February, uh, so I thought it's Valentine's month, right? Let's talk about what there is to love about the current market right now. Interest rates are lower than they were in December by about half a percent in a lot of cases. Now, that is awesome because it increases your buying power, meaning it costs you less per month for a little bit more of a house, so primo. Also, the market is just getting inundated with new listings. And this is great because maybe you've been looking for that perfect place and you've not seen it. It might be out there now. There's literally over 5,000 new houses on the market or more houses on the market than there were in November. So, huge. Lots of stuff to love about the market right now. It's so good. But let's get into our cities this week. We're looking at Peoria and Glendale. We're looking at the west side, everybody. And part of this is because I have a, a under contract in Peoria and I've been looking at some houses in, in Glendale and Peoria with another client. I'm not trying to become the Peoria agent, but let's get into the numbers on the west side of town. A little different than we're used to on the east side. So, as you can see right here, pretty standard of what we're used to. Little dip in December, huge spike in new listings in January, similar to the, to the east side of town. It's really similar for all of Maricopa County, really. Um, here we got the listing prices, um, down a little bit on the, on the median sold. Uh, part of that's because of, again, we're gonna show you the spread of the price points in just a minute, but that's kind of where it's moving along. Still trending upwards. Uh, here, here's where the numbers differ. So we've got uh, an average or, or median sale price in 2019 of 297,950, uh, up from 274,995. So it's up 8.35%. Pretty much expected there, but the days on market have increased in Peoria. So instead of 65 days like last year, we're looking at 76 days. Now, uh, the west side is, is a little different. But, but generally, I think we're gonna start seeing a trend where we have a few more days on market. I say that, and at the same time this weekend, I was out looking at homes with a client and there were houses going on the market and getting off of it within three days under contract. So there's still some movement, some quick movement out there. You just gotta price the house right if you're looking to sell it. It's all about pricing the house right. So, And here's the spread I was talking about, the reason the uh, medium price dipped a little bit. We had last year, there was one house that sold for somewhere between 1.25 and one and a half million dollars, and there was nothing in that price point this year. So, looking at the spread here, you can kind of see why the median price might dip a little bit. House values are still up. Another thing to love about, love about the market right now. So let's switch over to Glendale. Same picture here. We're kind of used to this one. Big old dip in December, huge spike in January. That's where all those new houses are coming from. Uh, in Glendale here, we've got actually the median price ticked up, which again, this is skewed a little bit by the spread of the price point of houses that are being sold, but generally this is an indication of the market continuing to increase, the prices um, increasing in their value. Again, these numbers look very similar to Peoria's in that the uh, median sale price or the average sale price increased by about 9%. Um, but the days on market also increased. So we're not seeing, like with the increase of days on market, we're not seeing a dip in the price. We're just seeing it's taking a little bit longer for houses to sell. Part of that's gonna be because we've got more inventory. More inventory without a huge influx of buyers, stuff's gonna stay on the market a little bit longer. Really, uh, it, it's gonna take a while before we're into a, a place where they're gonna sit on the market for like a super long time. So, still good. Absorption rate still is under two in Glendale, under two months, which is just, it's still strong from a seller standpoint, but buyers are making a comeback. <laughs> so, here's the spread in, uh, in Glendale, similar to what we saw in Peoria. We do have a little bit of a, we do have that one in the 1.25 to 1.5 million that, that sold in, 2018 but not 2019 but along the rest of the spread it's a little more kind of evenly spaced out there so anyway that's your Tuesday market update almost said Monday <laughs> so if you guys are looking to buy it now is a great time to get in talk to a lender find out what you can afford there's a lot of houses in the market so I'm sure we can find you a house 
and I know and I believe that you deserve a better quality experience. So give me a call whether you're looking to buy or sell and let me and my team deliver for you. Hope you guys have a great rest of your February and we will see you back again next week in March for the Tuesday market update. Wait, I just realized it might still be February. Okay, I jumped the gun. It's not the last week of February. Whatever. So I got my dates off. <laughs> Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye.